Can you believe it? We're now in the week after Easter. And yes, I have to confess that I go through my what I call my post-holiday letdown. I cope with it in one way, at least one way. I'm sure there's many others, like eating chocolate. But the one, one way that I begin is by cleaning up. It's by cleaning up all the jelly beans that I find on the floor, on the counter, or maybe in between the crack and the couch to make sure I pick them up before our dog Sophie gets them. Or that, yes, that I pick up the little bits of, of grass that are left behind, the purple, the red, the, the green, as well as picking up the baskets that are left off after the egg hunt or exchange of candy. I even found a chocolate bunny with its ears cut off or I should say bit off, and that I had to throw those away. But as I gathered up those baskets and I put them on the shelf and cleared them out for another year, I had to laugh to myself because I said, what do I do now that Easter's over? I laughed out loud literally in the house, and I said, I can't believe you said that, Marta, because it has just begun. The scriptures, our Lenten journey, that we've prepared, we've given up or taken on, that we, yes, broke bread together and that we saw in the Holy Thursday or the Good Friday, the scripture reading and, and our Habitat devotionals. Why did I journey those 40 days to prepare myself, to look deep within myself and say where I needed to look at those broken parts of my life? Well, now that I have arrived and waiting for what that one day, no way. Easter is a way of life. Resurrection is for all of us. It's a lifelong promise that Christ gives us, that God gives us. And now it's up to us to live as Easter people and to believing in the resurrection. There's a mantra that I've created for myself and I wanna share it with you and that you may say it also. Risen Lord, keep the glory of your resurrection before me all year long and let it be part of my life in every breath that I take. I hope that you'll look below and you'll see all the other things coming up. Next Sunday, we will have Bishop Ken Kenneth Carter, the Bishop of the United Methodist Church in the Florida Conference, bringing his message across all of our conference, the state of Florida, bringing the good news of Easter. So I hope you know that we will be in person, so come on out, join us, and know that we will just show it on the screen, but we will be in person worship and celebrating together. The following week, we start a new se series called This Is Us, taking a look at who we are at Plantation United Methodist, but more importantly, who we are as God's people, called the community of faith, the people of God. Don't miss out. Our young adults will be gathering at the end of this month. Registration for VBS has started, as well as summer camp, so don't miss out. God has got lots of things for us to do. Know that God loves you, and God bless you.